Welcome back, this is episode 8 of our playthrough of Eastshade, and we're going to continue walking around the top of the common tower in Nava, attempting to find what we find, basically. Trade here, trade there. So many folk are scurrying about. Are you a trader? A trader? I suppose you could say that. A trader of sorts. Just take a look at all those shiny things coming in the markets. Sad day when my leg stopped working quite so well. Haven't made it down to the lower level in some time. Hmm. At least you have a nice view. Say, I heard from some other folks that you're one of the most helpful people in Eastshade. Do you have time to help an old woman? Of course. Excellent, excellent. You and I, young friend. I can tell we're gonna make a fine pair. What do you need me to do? Been a long time since I had a partner of any sort. Oh, I feel ten years younger. I'm embarrassed to admit. I left a precious box up north, in the caverns. You know, the Howling Caverns on the Tiefmoor Bluffs? I must have left it there. You left a box in the caverns? It was years ago, mind you, that I left it behind. Longer, actually. I was still a young girl. Spent time playing all over Eastshade. That box was one of my favorite possessions. Passed down from my mother. Hmm, why didn't you look for it before? I must have spent hours searching those caverns. Don't know if the sea swept it out or if someone came and took it. I suppose I became a touch more sentimental in my later years. I just want to see it again. Well, I know I found it. It has some decoration, you know. Not too much. It's a rather simple wooden box, I think. Don't know what it looks like. I'll get... You don't know what it looks like? It's been so long since I've seen it. I don't remember all the details. But there can't be many boxes in that cavern. Not to worry. I have confidence you'll find it, child. Away with you. Okay, first I need to steal some of your stuff. Oh, you don't have anything for me to steal. What's her name? I have to remember her name. I'm rooting Lady for Samara. you, child. Living okay. vicariously. I'm rooting for you, child. Okay. Living vicariously through you in your quest to retrieve my lost box. I'll just take that lady. A new face. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Zara, assistant research scientist here at the university. Do you know of Melik? He's the merchant selling the so-called elixir of life down in the market. Oh, yes. And? Do you think it can really extend your life? Probably not. That seems a reasonable guess. I have a favor to ask of you. Do you think you could perhaps go to Melek's shop in the market and buy me one of said elixirs? I'll buy it from you at twice what it's worth. Why don't you buy one from well, me? Well, you see, I've earned a bit of a reputation here in Nava as the resident skeptic. I just like to know the science of things. I tried to buy one from him. He told me that with my closed-minded attitude, it would never work on me and refused to sell me one. The obvious tactic of a charlatan, if you ask me. Okay, um, what do you want one? I'd like to run some tests on it. I've heard the claims, and let's just say I'm... skeptical. This elixir of life seems to be quite a trendy product in the city. And if this Melek fellow is cheating folks out of their hard-earned glowstones, I'd like to know the truth of it. I'll pick you up an elixir. Fantastic. You can find me here just about any time. 
I'm always working. <sighs> Tell me about the top floor I pass. I know it's a spectacular view. Beyond that, though, is there any reason specifically you need to be up there? I want to paint. I see. Well, I'll tell you what. Help me with discovering the truth about Melek's elixir, and I'll get you a pass. Awesome. Okay, now we know how to get our pass, so that we can complete another stage of our Mother's Wishes, which is this quest, Mother's Last Wishes. We also have to go to Tiffmore Bluffs to find the box in the cavern, so that'll be the third stage. And we've already done the giant tree. Then we just, yeah, we're almost done. We'll almost be done with that quest. Let's see if there's any more doors we haven't checked. Okay, we have checked this door. I think the circling is a lot faster than you think. Okay, it's still night outside, I think, but we might see if we can run across to buy the elixir anyway. Hmm. Where's the door? Am I blind? Where's the door? Oh, stairs. Too cold to be out, but we'll be just fine. Oh, it looks like night time, they're not here. Which, oh, he's here. Let me know if you need any weird tasting ground up plants. Let me know if you need any weird nope. tasting ground up. Not yet. This is our man. Ah, you've returned. You will certainly live a long time if you keep drinking this magical tincture. Would you like to purchase some? Yes. I think the blue is like. A warning. We chose it the water wrong is sourced from the with the, jug, the springs of mug shape. in a jug fella. Yes, let's buy this. Do we have it now? Elixir of life. Okay. Alright, let's go back. She was after this gap. From, nope. Maybe here. No, that's the painter. Here we go. I'm rooting for you, child. Oh, no. Nope, Living vicariously you. Next one. through you in your quest to retrieve my lost box. A fine day for science. Did you by chance pick me up one of those elixirs from the market? There you Wonderful. Go. Now I can run some tests. Why don't you come back in about an hour and I'll fill you in on my findings. How many glowstones do we have now? 75. We need 80 for the coat from memory. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll get some glowstones. I don't know what time it is. But we... We have some quests that we can complete. We can go and talk to uh, Marketplace Romance. We have the information. Maybe she'll give us some money. 
but we can't go outside until it's morning, otherwise we will die. So I think a little exploration might be in order until the sun comes up. I don't know if we get tired. I have a feeling we won't. No one here wants to talk now. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's get cold again. He's doing... Oh, he's got a coat. Are you back here? Nope. Uh, nothing for you. We don't want anything from you. So... All these guys are happily out in the night. We still can't go out. Hmm. I don't know if there's anywhere... Any other buildings we can run to. Let's have a quick glance. Nope. Interested in a book? I am, but not until we have some money. So we have to go to the Teefmoor Bluffs. We have to build a, I think a raft or a boat to get us to one of these islands because I think, oh, okay. We can go back and check out what she learnt about the elixir. That'll pass some time. Of working here in the university, even though my senior professor Esma can be a bit eccentric at times. Well, I've run some tests. Unfortunately, my findings are inconclusive. The solution seems to be mixed with so many things I can't get a clear reading of its composition. I've been thinking. Melek claims the life-giving ingredient in his potions is water from the local hot springs. I know it's a big ask, but I'm wondering if you're interested in collecting water samples from each of the five hot springs of Eastshade. Then we can really answer this question once and for all. No more tricks, no more overpriced traps. What do you say? I can do that. Fantastic! Take these empty vials. The collection should be fairly straightforward. Finding the five hot springs will be the hard part. They're in all corners of the island, and some are rather tucked away. Like I said, help me with discovering the truth about Melek's elixir, and I'll be sure to get a pass for you. Okay, so that's not happening anytime soon. We do have a map, and we do know that one of the elixirs, one of the hot springs, is there. It's marked. We found it. So, she said all corners. So let's assume there's probably one up here somewhere, one up here somewhere, and one down here somewhere. So as far as our quests go, what have we got? All the greyed out ones are completed. The Elixir of Life is the one we just got. The locked box we can't do yet until we get to the other side of the map. We can't get up the top until we get the pass. Oh, we haven't found everyone to do with these tubers. One, two. We need to find two more. We need to go back to Evelina. Oh, I know, Lailani. We need to find some people to talk to the hot air balloon. To go to the hot air balloon and go for a ride, maybe. 
So we need to find more people in town. It looks like it's starting to get closer to morning. There's probably an inn here that maybe it would have been smart to find beforehand, but we've been passing time, so there's that. Let's see if it's still too cold. Yep. Hmm. Oh well. There's no other way out of here, is there? No. So let's just make a run for it. He's probably not back till morning. Wait on, who was that guy? looking for another building we can maybe go in. I don't think there's another building we can even get to. And I don't think there's any way... Oh, actually, hold on. We have, in our inventory, a drink. Keep you warm. Now we should be warm to go outside. Yeah, no more wasting time. Should have thought of that before. He's sick. No, it doesn't last long though, but... Long enough for us to maybe complete a quest, and maybe earn some money and buy a coat. Did you figure anything out? Oh god, did she tell you what she thinks of me? I'm dying! Tell me what she said! Where is her favorite place? Oh god, I've forgotten. Uh... What did she say? I have absolutely forgotten. <laughs> oh no! I don't think she said Lindau. I don't think anyone would say Lindau. Let's... <laughs> uh. What did she say? I think she said the hot spring on the Selt Spring coast. That rings a bell to me. Really? Wow. I'd heard about it, but I didn't think it was real. That sounds like the perfect magical place. Oh, I missed that. Uh, what happened? Well, okay, I remembered, I remembered right. Okay, so that's not finished. Interesting. Something else has to happen. Okay, I'm going to start making plans. Thank you so much. I'm so nervous. But this is going to be amazing. Wish me luck! Okay, well that failed to get us any glowstones, so... Let's see. Make our fast mission to speak to some people. Any of you guys? Nope. Have we been through here? I don't think so. Hi there. Ah, yeah, I'm reporting that guy. He kicked us out of his house. He's not nice. Hmm. Afraid that's not really something we'd normally do anything about. Oh. Okay, that's not going to help. <laughs> so I've caused trouble and the sheriff isn't going to help. Alright. What happened to the quest? What was the quest? That one. Hmm. I'm in the middle of something at the moment. Okay.
And who are you? You made it to Nava! You still have the pastries, right? Oh, this is gonna be great! Okay, my brother's sitting at the table right outside the bakery. I'll go over to him first, then you follow behind. Remember, make him think you're a normal delivery person. Yeah, alright. Let's do this prank. It's probably gonna make him hate us. But that's all cool. Oh, hello there, delivery person. I'm not <laughs> expecting any packages. <laughs> Can I help you? Mm. Good. I've been expecting a delivery. Give it here. Mm. It looks like someone's rifled Trudy's. They're a little crushed, too. A little crushing isn't gonna ruin the tangy, sublime, gorgeous taste of raspberries. Oh, what? What's happening to me? This is, this is the most revolting, sickening. This flavor, grape, my tongue. It'll never be the same. What despicable baker would make an error so unforgivable? Neo, this my brother's idea of a prank? Poisoning a person's taste buds with the most repulsive flavor ever invented. That's just, it's hilarious. I can't believe you actually got me. And Neo's always trying to do these ridiculous pranks. Usually I can see him from a mile away. But messing around with great pastries? That's some risky business. You should be proud. I'm not easily pranked. Oh, well, that went, that went well. We've already annoyed enough people, so I'm glad that about that. That was perfect. I couldn't picture it going any better. He totally thought you were a delivery person. <laughs> this one will go down in family history. You should look into doing this for a living. I don't have much to give you, but seeing my brother eat a great pastry was just priceless. But we didn't see him eat it, so that was a bit disappointing. I can still taste that grape filling. Repulsive. I'm never gonna forget the look on his face when he ate that grape-filled pastry! <laughs> Alright, they're done. Uh, we're about to run out of our warming drink, so let's race for that building, just in case it's still considered to be night. Let's wait and see if it's still considered to be night. It is... We need a coat jacket, which we can now afford, so I don't mind, we don't have another warming drink. Hmm. And it's too cold <laughs> to go out there. I'm sure we had to buy the jacket out there. Yeah, we need 80. We have enough glowstones. So now, we just need this guy to turn up so we can get our contract to do some painting. We just need the, more, the sun to come up. In which case, we can just take a quick look at all of our... our... Uh, wait, I'm still shivering. Just move away from that door, yeah. So we've got an elix elixir of life. So we need to find all the hot springs. We know where one is. We need to go to Tiffmore Bluffs to find the precious box in the Howling Caverns. We need to find all the hot springs in order to get the pass to get to the top of the tower, the common tower. We need to find two more people that ate the poison or bought the poison uh, zucchinis. That one's on pause, I think. I think that's a waiting game for whatever the characters are going to do. The air balloon, we have to convince someone to come see it. A man on the beach. Oh yeah, we have to build a raft, I think. That's my guess anyway, to find that amulet. 
owner can help with maybe the materials for the twine or for the twine. So we need to find owner. We know where owner's house is. Maybe he's got the materials we need. And don't really know that place is locked. We need a key for it. Yeah. So right now, we're just waiting for the sun to rise. And it looks like it has. Okay, cool. We should be able to find the merchant that sells the coat here. Well, well, well. Your clothes are looking a little scrappy. Bet you're just about to freeze to death come nightfall. If you're ever looking to upgrade your attire, I'm sure I have just the thing. All right. Bye. Now we have a coat. Don't know. I think it might automatically be equipped. Well, that's good. Glad to see that coat is treating you well. I didn't try to poor Tam. He tries. Oh, yeah, I've lived here all my life. Yep, I've we've already so heard all that from her. Okay, so now we're good at night, which is a big deal. Now we can freely explore. And even though it's morning, before we leave town, let's see what we can find. Who are you? Nobody. Oh yeah, we didn't go down here yet. But we might as well do that while we're here. Hmm, I get the distinct impression. Right, we can see the balloon from here, so I have the distinct impression we're going to have to come here to do a painting of the balloon. Nothing to say. Yeah, I can see there's going to be people wanting paintings from out here. Anybody want to chat? Nope. What's the password? Then get lost. Okay. Not everybody in East Shade is very nice. Okay, so now we know we need a password to get into the door around here. And we need to find the... Oh, not that. We need to find the... Selt... Wait on. That is the Selt Spring Coast. So that must be the hot spring. Okay, maybe we need to go there again first to fill a vial and maybe because it might trigger something to do with the romance quest that we have. It might be that we'll meet those characters at the hot spring when we get there. So I think that will be our first, our first destination once we leave here. But before we do leave here, let's try and find anyone who bought the poison food anyone nope nope where's this go this place is a lot bigger than it first appears Well, looky doo we've got a fresh face. I haven't seen you in the city before, and I like to think I know just about everyone around here. I think I sped through his text a little quickly. Let's 
go back and see if he says it again. Howdy. Nope. Okay. You have anything Did I to mention say? some people call me one glowstone guy? Well, I've got two nicknames around here. The other thing people call me is 500 glowstone guy. I only ever have one item for sale at a time, and I only sell anything for one price. Guess how much? Five hundred glowstones. Whoa. Sealant. Whoa, we need five hundred glowstones. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be five hundred glowstones. You think so? Well, I only have one thing to say to that. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be five hundred glowstones. Is there any other way? Hmm. There's only one thing I want that I can't seem to get. But I'm not sure you can help. What is it? I want to get into that fancy club. The Roots. They're such exclusive little buggers. I need the password to get in. No idea who to talk to about that. Get me that password, and I'll give you the sealant. Out that sealant. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 nope. glowstones. Well, we've already done that. There's only one thing I want yeah. that I can't seem to get. I want to get into that fan. Get me that. Sell item. Okay, so there's nothing we can do about this just yet. So we can sell some items for glowstones, but. I'm not 100% on what all of these items are useful for yet, and whether or not they're actually more valuable than glowstones to me, so for now, we won't sell anything to him. But we know we need to find the password, and if we can tell him the password, we'll get our sealant. Because 500 glowstones is outrageous. This uh, city is huge. I did not expect it to be so big. Well, hello there. Such a great day, isn't it? Ah, I just love days like this. Last night, I saw two shooting stars, and right then, I knew today was going to be a fine one. Ah, you're an artist? Oh, you must be very skilled. I can barely draw a straight line in the mud. <laughs> If you're feeling especially energetic, we could always use a hand in the fields. We've got a lot of work down on the pea terraces. It can be draining, but I like to read in my free time. A nice book of poetry always boosts my spirits. Hmm. What? Are you serious? Okay, well, I bought some, but I definitely didn't eat them. I'd never make that kind of mistake. I, uh, I just don't have them anymore. Threw them away. <laughs> I, mm, I need to go now. Ah, the secretive underground tea drinking society. I've had a few cups of dream tea in my day, but things have changed since then. Now it's all locked doors and passwords. Hmm. Okay, so he's done something with those poisonous tubers. But I think now we have found... So... What are we? One customer, two, so we, we just need one more. Need to find one more person. And isn't that the front? So we've looped all the way around, but we haven't been in, I think, this door. Whoever we need must be in here. Oh, this must be the inn. 
Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. Mm, correct. That is the name. We once had another name, but everyone just called us that inn below the tarnished teapot. I don't really blame them. This place is a bit of a dump. The manager has really let it go. He reminds me of Marvin the Paranoid Android. Me. <laughs> it's cold and damp. Tiny windows. Smells a little stale. At least the front door's nice and big. That's a plus, I suppose. Uh, sounds hard. I used to live on the mainland years ago, working as a bricklayer. Was terrible. <laughs> he's definitely every. He's year. absolutely Marvin the then Paranoid my Android. Grandma died, <laughs> bless her soul, and left me a son. Quit my job that day, and got the first ship here. For no reason in particular. Just wanted to leave. Bought this dumpy floor for dirt cheap. Didn't really know what I was doing. Now this city's a boom town, and I'm living off the reverse mortgage. Just goes to show, act impulsively, and sometimes you get rich. That's what I've learned anyway. Oh, and have some inheritance. It's kind of like a club. People go under the city to drink dream teas, relax, unwind. It used to be open for everyone, but it's pretty locked down now. Some folks have been trying to destroy or steal their tea plants, so they had to get real protective. There was a dream party out on the Salt Spring coast a few nights ago. Who knows? Maybe you can make the right connections and get a chance to try some. Okay. Oh. So we haven't found our fourth person yet. Oh, okay, there's more people up here. One of them has to be The chef. Surely the chef. No. Hello. Somebody up here. What is this? Any key to leave. Okay. I don't know what this is. Spin it round and then smash it up or something. <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, we'll leave that for another day <laughs> till someone gives us a hint about it. Anybody? <laughs> feeling that this being a place of food it has something to do with our tubers but there's definitely nobody here to talk to so... hmm anybody
Anybody? What about you? I saw a wonderful show at the Tarnished Teapot last night. The tea house hosts a different musician or storyteller every evening. Oh, they are such inspiring events. Goodness, I almost fed this to my grandmother. Thanks for finding me. Here, you take it back. I don't need it anymore. Oh, have you been there yet? I highly recommend it. Just relax, sip some tea, and have a lovely nap. A perfect way to spend an afternoon. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we have to sip some tea in that place. But now that we've found all of our toxic tubers, we can go and speak to our worried vegetable seller. Did you get them back? Oh dear. I can't believe this. All oh, my days as a vendor are over. I just know it. Thank you for going out there. You can keep these tubers. Just don't eat them. Okay. Toxic tubers. Alright, that's completed. And the last thing I want to do before we bail on the city and go and do a couple of other things is just check out whether or not we can get some painting contracts. So, sounds like you've managed to impress the great Yevony. I thought you might. Your work is excellent and just the style our clients are looking for. We've got a whole bunch of commissions just waiting around. We keep them all in the ledger at the back. Take a look and see if you're up for any of them. When you finish a commission, just bring it back to me. I'll ensure you get paid and that the client gets the artwork. We're glad to have you join the gallery. My daughter thinks chickens make for tacky decor, but you know what? I like chickens. I don't care what the latest do's and don'ts are. Chickens are adorable. I'd like a chicken rendered in stunning detail. Oh, do I need money to accept these, or is that how much I get paid? And how many can I accept? Artwork of a truly sad individual. Their very post should elicit an air of melancholy. Those little cob houses are dreamy. I want a painting of a cute one all alone in the country. If I could see a watermill every day in my living room, I just don't see how I, I could be sad. Well, we know there's a watermill on the way to the springs where we're going next, so let's accept that. Oh, maybe we can accept them all. My daughter thinks chickens. Looks like we can. Okay, we can accept them all. Painting menu or C. Commissions, is that it? Yeah. Okay. And we also need... Don't we need... We only have two... We need supplies. I thought this guy Welcome had supplies. Back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Canvas. Oh, I should have not rushed that. Nope, that was a bad idea. But that did give us an extra canvas, so we can at least paint three for now until we find more stuff. Okay, well, I think we've managed to achieve a fair bit. We could actually paint this chicken right here. Don't leave, chicken. Let's actually, let's actually do that and see if this is good enough. Hey, chicken, stop it. Stop running around. <laughs> Let's wait till he stops. A simple chicken. That should be enough to get us some money, I think. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Turn in commissions. Ha! There we go. 
Easy. Ugh, some people. So tacky. Does that mean there's more? Yes. A lonely tower. Please paint me a forlorn tower, all by its lonesome, preferably cast against a dark, a stark sky. None of the city towers, please. Those are hardly lonely or evocative. Alright. Okay. There's probably more we can actually do here if we find someone who's sad. And in fact, maybe we should because we might get other commissions before we leave the city. So that might make sense. Okay, so I think this is already a, a really long episode, so we'll call it quits there. That's pretty much most of what we could do in Narva. Next episode, we'll find a sad person in town to paint, and then we'll uh, move on outside of the city and see what we can, what else we can achieve. And so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.